All right, we're talking about the the, the Dragon Age Veil Guard controversy slash picture seen across the world, the gaming world. The canary on the right looks like, you know, testosterone infused. Like he's going to dominate his enemies and bathe in their blood. And the one on the left looks like uh, the Kunari who left the village to become a uh, interpretive dance instructor while he talks about uh, male feminism. Uh, that's what it looks like. Does this mean the game's going to be bad? No, I don't think so. Just because the character this is now, mind you, this is the character creation. This is a look at what you can create. And there is some value in making an ugly character in character creation. A lot of people do it. I know I do it from time to time. You want to play as an ugly ass main character who uh, doesn't look like he fits in any any world ever in the history of fantasy whatsoever. Like it's fun to make an abomination. I don't know. Tell me what you think down below. Does this uh, this doesn't look good? It's the Kunari Twink, and he's gonna he's gonna melt your heart. And he was captain of the lacrosse team last year, and he you know he's he's really excited about the new season coming up. Now, first and foremost, I hope this game is good, and I hope that the people that like Dragon Age and have played it and want to see it continue on in the future hope they get a good solid game with you know a decent story and gameplay that's fun some people are excited about it and some are skeptical about how good the game's actually going to be given the current state of AAA gaming and just gaming in general but i played the first one i played this one right here i played dragon age origins i still have it here this is a good game i i like the story i think there's a lot of you know there's a lot of issues with it but it was fun overall the gameplay was fun the story was good you had a lot of companion dialogue options good game to recommend to anybody who you know wants to wants to play a solid game since then dragon age has made had some put out some stinkers right dragon age 2 was not a hit and dragon age inquisition was better than 2 from what i understand but still had its own issues with the open world and the fetch quest stuff and some of the other <laughs> things that i've that I've read that people really didn't like about that game. There's a Kunari from Inquisition, I believe, on the right. That's what it is. That's pretty big. That's pretty big difference, don't you think? That's 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 a bigger character change from from Inquisition to Veilguard than from this. To keep that in your mind. To this, this is a, uh, I think Dragon Age Origins Kunari. And this one on the right, I think was what you could uh, create your character as, right? I've been so long since I played. But anyways, <laughs> you got this one on the right. It right, looks better than what they're coming up with now. Yes, there was a change from Origins to... Uh, where is it? From this to this. I think this one, ultimately, the one on the right here, is a better character model. Like, that's better. Right there. I don't think anybody's going to disagree with me on that one. I saw We saw some of the gameplay. We can watch a little bit of it here. Hold on. Let's let's see if we can find some. So we're just going to kind of look at the how, the how the game looks. Looks fine. So far. So they're playing as mostly this lady. I, I don't remember the I'm guessing elf or whatever. She's got the pointy ears. She's a ranger class, probably. Yeah, it'll probably be looks like the combat will be fine enough. Serviceable. But should they have changed the look? That's basically the question. That's the question I'm asking here. Should they have changed the character? Now people will say, you know, defenders of this of this decision will say, whoa, characters change all the time. People change character models all the time. Yeah, and they get shit for it every single time. Every time a developer changes the character model from one year to the next, they get an earful, as far as I know. I, I My prediction is the game's going to flop hard. I'm hoping it's not, but as far as I can tell and as far as I can see, it doesn't look good. It looks like a rejected Star Trek character. Yes, the one on the left does. Reminds players of Baldur Gates 3 in all the best ways. Hmm. But they really think that they're going to have as much success as Baldur's Gate, according to this article. I don't think so. Like he had a lot of options when it came to um, character relationships between one another. <laughs> Minus all the bear sex. Dragon Age, I don't think it's going to be exactly the same unless it's got good gameplay. Well, diversity has always been present. Yes, there's always been a diverse cast of characters. So tired of hearing that fucking word everywhere. Diversity. I want a diverse breakfast. I want a, I want a diverse set of tools. I want a diverse this and a diverse that. I want to diversify my portfolio. I want diverseness in my games. I want a diverse array of wives. I'm moving to Utah. No one gives a shit. Is your game good? Is it fun? That's all you need. No one cares. Every character will be romanceable. Just as it is in Baldur's Gate 3. Whoopity skippity do. Player sexual references when companions in a game. What? That, do people know how to fucking write anymore? Player sexual 
references when companions in a game are all attracted to the main oh my god that is the clunkiest fucking sentence or you get a harem basically is what what that sentence is trying to say player sexual really is this a word now that they're trying to shove into uh our lexicon now the player the veil guard a dragon age veil guard is using player sexual all one word player sexual it's not not a fucking word shut, shut the fuck up oh my god the three call for romance scenes that's all they that's all they're talking about is just the romance options that's super important. That's that's the that's a seasoning on a good steak. Is the romance options? Is the game fun? I'm more worried about the gameplay. I could say that I'm said that a thousand times in this video. Anyways, I guess time will tell. We'll see October 31st, right? Halloween. It'll be scary. My guess is, is the story is going to be god awful. They they're going to try to do their best um, Baldur's Gate impersonation, and it's going to fall flat. That I fear that's going to be the thing. I hope I'm wrong, but that's that's my initial view, as I think the whole thing is going to fall, it's going to go splat, and the game is going to be irrelevant by, by New Year. 